thank you so much for trusting us and sticking your name and your email address in that little box and pressing the button. You are now getting more of Bruce King's wisdom. Oh, aren't they? I do hope so, Neil. <laughs> now, we said, we said in the last video, we talked a little bit about picking up the phone, and it's difficult, yeah? Even professional, full-time salespeople, the vast majority of them hate picking up the phone and making a totally cold call. Okay, so what things can we do to help our business by picking up the phone that's not going to scare us with this? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to pick up the phone mm -hmm. and call somebody, a complete stranger to you at the moment, okay. but who has been referred to you by one of your existing customers mm -hmm. and is expecting your call and is keen to talk to you. Uh, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it just? Tell me. Okay. Tell me, Bruce. It's not difficult. It's not okay. difficult. I'm talking about referrals. Okay. I'm talking about your existing customers, mm -hmm. clients, referring you to other people they know who they think you could help. Okay. And there's two things you need to know about getting referrals. One is you have to ask for them because people don't have it in their mind, oh, I must refer Neil to a few of my contacts. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to think You're about so right. Me. I mean, that is so obvious. But it doesn't happen. People don't do that. No. Yeah, so but when you ask, mm -hmm. you'll be amazed how people will react. So, Bruce, here's the uh, $64 million question. How do you ask for a referral? Oh, that was my second point. Ah, you see, there you go. We're on the same way there. You need... Um, you need to have a script, okay. something written down precisely as I'm going to share with you in a moment. Mm -hmm. You're on the telephone, you can read it, and when you've read it enough times, it'll be in your mind and it won't be a script anymore, you'll be the part instead okay. of reading the script. So, it goes like this. You've been speaking to a customer or client, either face to face, in which case you better remember this, mm -hmm. it's, you can't read it from the script anymore. You're either face to face or you're on the telephone. And you say, just one thing before I go, John or Mary or whatever their name mm -hmm. is, I'm sure you know I really appreciate your business. And I like to spend most of my time looking after my clients, not looking for them. Okay. But like every other business, I need to grow too. So I'd really appreciate your help, please. Would you mind very much if we took a few minutes to brainstorm who else you know who and the who is different for everybody. Yeah, so this, in my case it will be who has a great website and doesn't have any video but would benefit from having video on their website. Okay, and in my case, and I've got a, I've got a dozen yeah. for different situations, it could be, do you know anybody who's struggling to increase their sales and their profits significantly? Yeah. yeah. Once you've fitted that in, is I'd love some introductions, please. Who springs to mind? Yeah. So let me do that right through okay. without interruption. So shall I pretend to be the other? Yeah, you can, other you can okay. be. You can be. Okay, you be can be the other. Okay. So, Neil, that's great. I'm sure you know I really appreciate your business. So thanks Thank you. ever so much. Pleasure. One thing before I go. I like to spend my time, most of my time, looking after my clients, not looking for them. But like every business, like yours and everybody who's watching this video right now, everybody needs to grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as standing still. No. You either, you are, businesses either grow or they shrink. Mm -hmm. So I'd really appreciate your help, please. I'd like to spend a few minutes with you brainstorming. Who else you know who may be struggling to increase their sales and their profits? I'd love some introdu introductions, please. Who springs to mind? I've got one person springs to mind straight away. So, yes, I, of course, my mind is going as you're talking about, yeah, okay, I'm not thinking that you're selling to me. I'm not thinking that you're being rude or pushy. I'm just thinking, do you know what? Bruce has helped me. I'm helping him back a bit. It's just paying you back. So, yeah, no, that will work. I have some clients, Neil, who, just to give you one example, um, but it's very common. Uh, I coach a, the chief executive officer and the sales director of a big Swedish organization. Uh -huh. 
and in the past, before they met me, they were getting about 5% of their business from referrals okay. and they were spending a small fortune on marketing. Mm -hmm. They now get 80% of their business from referrals, wow. which has saved them a fortune in marketing. Mm -hmm. That's how effective it can be. You just have to remember to ask, and nine yeah. times out of ten, busted salespeople forget to ask. Mm -hmm. You will forget to ask. You have to remind yourself. Mm -hmm. so I'll tell you a little on. tip on that. <laughs> on, a little tip on that. And then I've got something for you guys there, so stay tuned. Yeah. Was, was taught to me yeah. in my very first sales job. I can't remember how many years ago, because I'm a lot older than I look. Yeah. And my sales manager took me over the road no, I'll go back a step. Okay. I made my first sale. He said to me, how many referrals did you get? I said, Bernie, I forgot. Okay. He said, right, come with me. There was an antique shop across the road from the office. We walked in. He walked around and he picked up a doorknob. And he said, buy that. I said, why? He said, buy it. So I bought this doorknob and we got back to the office and said, what am I supposed to do with that? He said, you put that in your briefcase and wherever you go, whatever meeting you go to, you open your case, you take out your notepad, you take out the doorknob and you put it on their desk. Okay. Yeah. And you say, remind me to tell you about that later. And the customer then says, what's that about? And that's your prompt to ask for referrals. <laughs> that's very clever. So we have no doorknobs here, nope. but I was going to say something. So if you know anybody who could benefit from a little bit of extra help with their sales, who hasn't seen these videos, well, point them in the direction of the page where you signed up, and I'll put the link of that underneath this video, because there are people out there, I mean, I know you're doing great now that you're following me and Bruce and, and learning from him, but there are people out there that are struggling that might find what we're sharing beneficial. And you know what? We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you, Neil. There you go. Thank you, Bruce. Hey, I'm going to have to find something like a doorknob, but I'm not sure it'll be a doorknob. It'll be something rather ridiculous. I've got one of these kind of squeezy um, stress balls, but when you squeeze it, the eyes pop out. Okay. Yeah, so something like that. So Whatever. You can be, in your business, you can be much more flamboyant than a typical business owner. Yeah, no, but I need to dress sensibly, don't I? Ha, ha, ha.